Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla files trademark for Cyber Roundup, complete with logo. Tesla is close to opening its superchargers to other EVs in the US. Tesla FSD Beta navigates California's drunk lane lines without breaking a sweat. And Tesla releases impressive footage of creating a giant single-piece rear body casting for the Model Y. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Elon Musk may be a bit tight-lipped with the Cybertruck's details, but the CEO has been pretty consistent in the idea that the all-electric pickup truck will be one of Tesla's greatest creations yet. Seemingly in preparation for the vehicle, Tesla has now filed trademarks for a new Cyber Roundup. While few details could be determined from the trademark filings alone, one could see that Tesla had designed a logo for the Cyber Roundup. The design of the logo itself would be familiar for Tesla enthusiasts, since it follows the theme of the Cyber Rodeo that was held at Gigafactory Texas in April. Similar to the Cyber Rodeo logo, Tesla noted in its trademark filings that the Cyber Roundup trademark will feature a stylized outline of the U.S. state of Texas, with the word Cyber Roundup in stylized font in the center of the design. Tesla's filings for its Cyber Roundup indicate that the purpose of the trademark is to provide information in the fields of electric cars and energy products. The company also noted that the trademark extends to merchandise, such as clothing, which includes t-shirts, shirts, hats, socks, jackets, and sweaters. With this in mind, Tesla may be looking to release a line of cyber-themed products in the near future. The filing of the Cyber Roundup trademarks has triggered speculations that Tesla may be preparing yet another event for its all-electric pickup truck. In a way, this would make sense, as the Cybertruck's production version is expected to be quite different compared to the prototype that debuted in late 2019. Elon Musk also has some unfinished business with the Cybertruck, particularly with its now infamous armor glass windows. The Cybertruck's armor glass window demonstration failed during its 2019 unveiling, which resulted in memes and jokes that Elon Musk and Tesla have since embraced. Tesla has held double events for its key products in the past. The Model 3, for example, initially held its unveiling in March 2016, but its first deliveries also warranted a separate event over a year later, in July 2017. Considering the importance of the Cybertruck to Tesla's lineup, it would not be surprising if the all-electric pickup truck gets another event for its first deliveries. Moving to the next update, Tesla is close to opening its superchargers to other EVs in the US. Tesla is close to opening its supercharger network to other electric vehicles, which could help accelerate electric vehicle adoption in the United States. A new report from the Wall Street Journal reports, Tesla is applying for federal funding to expand its supercharger network, which is the largest EV infrastructure in the world, with over 35,000 chargers. In the United States, it is required to give access to other EVs for the funding, according to the report. This suggests that Tesla could be looking to open the supercharger network to any EV brand in the US, a move that has been tested by the automaker in Europe through a pilot program. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has discussed in the past the possibility that the supercharger network is opened up to other automaker brands. Last year, Musk tweeted, that the charging network would open to other automakers, and it did. The pilot program launched in November 2021 and is now available in 13 countries across Europe. The Wall Street Journal said in its report that recent regulatory filings and other documents pointed to the idea that Tesla is planning to utilize federal money to build out its supercharger network, but it will have to offer charging support for other EV brands to qualify for the money. This only further solidifies the fact that Tesla was likely planning to make this happen before the end of 2022. In June, the White House indicated Tesla would open its supercharger network to other automotive brands as new supercharger equipment was in production. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta navigates California's drunk lane lines without breaking a sweat. 
Images of the strangely painted road at Hollister, California, were shared extensively a few days ago, to much humor and mockery from online users on platforms such as Reddit. It was then only a matter of time before a Tesla FSD beta user decided to test the advanced driver assist system in the area. As per a report from KKTV, the street in question at Hollister, California, was the result of a mistake by a contractor who incorrectly drew the lane lines on the road. The city had redesigned the road to add bike lanes and central circles, so the contractor was tasked to add lines that correspond to obstructions that are designed to slow traffic. The city had intended the lane lines to be slightly curved in some areas, but reportedly due to the contractor's error, the lane lines ended up as a zigzag mess instead. The road will be repainted this week, so that its lane lines will be up to code, but over the weekend at least, it was open to motorists. This was where FSD Beta showcased some impressive behaviors. When images of the drunk lane lines in Hollister, California were shared online, some commenters noted that it would be an interesting area to test Tesla's FSD beta software. Needless to say, this was exactly what happened, with an FSD beta tester sharing a video on Tesla Motors subreddit, featuring the advanced driver assist system, navigating the crooked lines. Interestingly enough, Tesla's FSD beta actually managed to navigate the area pretty well, drunk lane lines and all. The advanced driver assist system kept a consistent speed, allowing the Tesla to maintain a safe and comfortable pace overall. Tesla's FSD beta navigated the area, just like it did any other road, it stayed within its lane, even if the lanes themselves didn't make sense. It should be noted that FSD is poised to receive a number of key improvements in its next few updates. Tesla appears to have started its internal rollout of FSD Beta 10.13 last week, which Elon Musk noted would be more capable of handling complex left turns. Upcoming versions of FSD Beta, such as version 11, are expected to be even more extensive, as they would reportedly use a single stack for both city streets and highway driving. Moving to the last update, Tesla releases impressive footage of creating a giant single-piece rear body casting for the Model Y. Tesla has released impressive new footage of one of its robots pulling a still-smoking large casting part from one of its GigaPress machines. This new casting approach from Tesla is going to be critical for the future of the company and especially new vehicle programs like the Cybertruck. Over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casted parts that have the capability to greatly simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machine in the world. These giant, multi-million dollar machines are developed by IDRA. Tesla's first GigaPress, which was installed at the Fremont factory, was put into operation in 2020. The machine was the first of its kind at the time and has a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. That was Tesla's first major step into large cast parts, and the automaker has since been heavily investing in large casting technology. The automaker took deliveries of several more giant casting machines at Gigafactory Texas, and Tesla has started producing the Model Y at the plant, with both front and rear single-piece casting. This approach has greatly simplified Tesla's body shops, bringing the number of robots per unit of production capacity down significantly. To get a better understanding of how this casting technology works, Tesla has released an impressive new video of one of those giant cast parts coming out of the Gigapress. You can see the single part, which is basically one-fourth of an entire car body, still smoking after coming out of the press. Now Tesla is going all in on the giant casting technology. Earlier this year, IDRA was teasing a new 9,000-pound Gigapress that will take the prize as largest in the world. Considering Tesla's relationship with IDRA, it was rumored that the new machine would be for the automaker again. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has since confirmed that the machine is going to be used for the Cybertruck body at Gigafactory Texas. Since Tesla has been moving in that direction, several other automakers have reportedly reached out to IDRA and other casting machine makers to do the same. However, 
Tesla is believed to have a significant advantage since it has been both working on this technology for a long time and also developed new alloys to work better with larger cast parts. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.